Subliminals are messages that are sent to the brain below conscious processing. They are a stimulus or mental process below the threshold of sensation or consciousness, perceived by or affecting someone's mind without their being aware of it. Today's video is dedicated to the Marilyn Monroe, her siren energy that stems from the goddess Aphrodite and her powerful presence that lies in each woman born on this planet. Marilyn Monroe with her soul being and like other great seductresses before her, lured men into a world of luxury, spectacle and pleasure. Marilyn Monroe made seduction a sophisticated art, the ultimate form of power and persuasion. By the art of pleasure she was able to seduce the masses and therefore obtain power over everyone who ever appeared in her presence. She has mastered the art of casting a spell and like any of the great seductresses, made people fall madly and completely in love with her. She created enchantment and love that captured the hearts of both genders for decades to come. Norma Jean have studied, worked on and crafted her Marilyn Monroe persona to soon become the biggest star the world has ever known. And today going after the Marilyn Monroe plan on my channel I am studying her to see how can we on her example to embody the Aphrodite energy. This video then is the invitation to the feminine world full of luxury, pleasure, beauty and sensuality. To do that, let's take a look at what made Merlin cultivate her femininity and let it be a subliminal way of reframing your mind into the feminine and chanting ways. Pleasure and luxury lies in the center of the feminine energy. Unlike masculine energy that is the heart, structure setting, linear, rational, accountable, direction and time keeping one, the competing, getting ahead and figuring things out. The feminine is the creative and movable energy. It is the soft, warm, non-linear, nurturing, playful, emotional, intuitive, flowing. It is the more luxurious energy that is the source of pleasure for the masculine. The the masculine energy can source its energy from the feminine one, recharge and take motivation to go after his goals. The prototype for the feminine energy is the Aphrodite energy. To understand the feminine energy, let's speak about the goddess Aphrodite first. Aphrodite was the Olympian goddess of love beauty, pleasure and procreation. She was depicted as a beautiful woman, often accompanied by the godly Eros. Her attributes included a dove, apple, scallop, shell and mirror. In classical sculpture and fresco she was usually depicted nude. She could entice both gods and men into illicit affairs with her beauty and whispered sweet nothings. Worshipped by men and women, Aphrodite also played a role in the commerce, warfare and politics of ancient Greek cities. Some of the most famous myths uh, featuring the goddess include her birth from the sea foam and more certain than her origins is that the goddess birth and the consequent association with the sea was manifested in the location of many coastal sanctuaries dedicated to her. Marilyn Monroe was the truest embodiment of the Aphrodite energy, the living human form of the ancient goddess. What is sure that this powerful energy Marilyn Monroe was not found in her by chance. She was not born with it. She has found and embodied this energy in the process of self-invention that I spoke about in my previous video. And it is my honest belief that every woman through some well-chosen habits can tap into the Marilyn Monroe and the Aphrodite energy. In 2024 we live busy lives and not every woman has the luxury of financial freedom. Usually during busy life we cannot focus our attention on our self-care moments. However, the self-care is the most important aspect of reconnecting with the feminine energy. Remember that women in all cultures were always indulging in the feminine moments. 
From public buffs to female gatherings, reading and singing together, women were always cultivating this feminine energy. The self-care moments were regarded as important aspect of a feminine art, and men had no entrance to this world. In our busy, focus and goal-oriented 21st century, these pleasures of self-care and rejuvenation has been slowly forgotten. This is why it is so important to create and schedule those luxuries and pleasure field moments for yourself. When Marilyn Monroe became an adult, she was consumed with pampering herself and taking long baths. She remembered the times when she could only bath in dirty water, so now that she had access to her own tap with clean water, she treated herself to extra bath time. However, this behavior often led her to arrive to dinner engagements late. When I have to be somewhere for dinner at 8 o'clock, I will lie in the bathtub for an hour or longer wrote Merlin. Eight o'clock will come and go and I still remain in the tap. I keep pouring perfumes into the water and letting the water run out and refilling the tap with fresh water. I forget about eight o'clock and my dinner date. I keep thinking and feeling far away. From the born from the sea Aphrodite to Marilyn Monroe, it is very important for the feminine to reconnect with the feminine energy through water, aromatherapy, colors and textures. And the baths has been my biggest rejuvenation habit and I cannot stop praising this. It is, in my opinion, the most luxurious yet simple habit that we can practice daily. To reconnect with the pleasurable and luxurious feminine energy take a bath like a goddess Aphrodite would. Light a candle, there are plenty of nice bath bombs that smell divine and add color to our water. Create a little pleasure cabinet that you can look into whenever a luxurious Marilyn Monroe moment is needed. The feminine is supposed to engage all the senses during her rituals. Those are the coming back to myself rituals. Create spectacle of of your daily baths or shower routine and you will see how quickly you will rejuvenate and connect with the source of life pleasure beauty and luxury you will get back your loss during the day feminine energy and you will be able to sleep relax smelling divine picture the nymph or the goddess aphrodite herself visualize her beauty and feminine power imagine her laying in a pond surrounded by flowers and birds with her naked body in the warm spring water. Imagine the type of experience you could create for yourself. You can add so many nice things to the bath that can imitate the little luxury in our life. Play some soft music, put some perfume powder in the in the bathtub or a bath bomb or essential oils and give yourself the goddess-like experience or the Cleopatra bath moment. It is so important for to at least for 30 minutes a day to engage in a pleasure moment like that. It is the most powerful way to come back to your feminine energy and go back to yourself. As we said before, Aphrodite was often depicted nude and this information provides a delicious connection to our Marilyn Monroe herself. You must know her famous saying when asked what does she wear to bed, she seductively replied, I wear a couple drops of Chanel number no. 5. Marilyn Monroe was known for sleeping naked and it is a very nice way to reconnect with your body that is often constricted by clothes and hidden. But regardless of your preference for sleeping, Marilyn Monroe reminds us that we should love our bodies regardless if they meet the current beauty standards or not. Loving your body is a very powerful way to reconnect with your feminine Aphrodite energy. Having a healthy goals for working on your body through exercise or diet is a good way to reach the desired version of yourself and manage your self-development. But regardless if you are close or far from reaching those goals, make sure you take the time to speak loving words to your body. Taking care of your hair, skin, putting lotion on your body or oils. Taking the time for grooming and in general engaging in those luxurious experiences like sirens bathing in the middle of a forest surrounded by flowers and birds. We should thank Marilyn Monroe 
for showing us that simple life experiences can be cherished and made more luxurious. And if you live alone, make sure your bedroom and bathroom are your sanctuary. A place where you can rejuvenate and recharge like a goddess Aphrodite would. Invite colors, aromatherapy and textures to your daily experience. Silk pajamas, sleep bed sheets or simply a perfume and candle. Make sure that you maximize your space beauty to the best of your financial abilities. Marilyn Monroe's life was a living work of art. She herself was a very creative person and in fact her entire persona was a piece of creative art. Connecting with our vulnerable side, engaging in art is the best way to also reconnect with the feminine. Painting or playing instruments, singing and dancing were the feminine hobbies for centuries. And whether it is a sensual belly dancing or dancing to your favorite music at home, it is the best way to reconnect with that playful and fluid nature of the Aphrodite and all feminine beings. It is to open the door for pleasure and spectacle in your life, allowing yourself to take part in the creative nature of the feminine. Painting and drawing are a very relaxing hobbies and it is a good reminder to take care of the soft and creative part in us. Marilyn Monroe was the queen of simple luxuries. We already know of the famous couple drops of Chanel number no. 5 on her naked body or the champagne that she loved to drink. And I think we can certainly add a bit of luxury to our life as a form of making it more beautiful and celebrating every moment. We do not necessarily have to drink the most expensive champagne or even champagne at all. But putting some money aside to buy our favorite drink of choice and leaving it for special moments like Fridays after a whole week of hard work or some healthy choice like kombucha if you are a non-drinker. Buy yourself a special glass, martini style glass, champagne glass with sprinkles on it. Anyways, it needs to be beautiful and luxurious for you. I personally love perfumes as they provide me with eyesight beauty experience as much as olfactory one. I love to wear perfume to bed and I will be making a video on perfumes in April according to my reinvent yourself series. Truth is perfumery is a big chunk of making yourself attractive to yourself and to others so stay tuned for my video or go ahead and find yourself a perfume of your liking and cherish this little luxurious bottle. So on the final note in our modern era busy and corporate lives a little luxurious moments can be easily omitted and disregarded however those are very important for taking care of our feminine origin and reconnecting with the aphrodite in all of us remember that even a simple tuesday can be made more magical if we try to add a little pleasure and beauty to it and never forget that you too like Marilyn monroe and aphrodite and any woman in the past that you too are worthy of those little moments and never abandon yourself in this way when you engage in those habits you will quickly learn that you have indeed embodied this aphrodite energy and that you too can use the aphrodite energy from yourself <laughs>